Hello everybody, my name is Kim and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to organize and navigate the node view in Toon Boom Harmony Premium. The first thing we're going to look at is composites. A composite is a node that basically helps you to organize your node view. You can add multiple points to one composite, so this really helps to clean up what's happening in your node view. To add a composite, you can do it one of four ways. You can right click, choose insert, combine, composite. You can go to this menu at the top left of your node view. Again, say insert, composite. You can drag a new composite from your node library from the combine folder. Or you can simply just press control H. Then to connect nodes to the composite, all you have to do is drag out a connection from the bottom of the node and drop it onto the composite. And it's as simple as that. Alternatively, you can actually connect nodes to a composite by selecting the nodes you want to be connected, right clicking, insert, combine, composite. As you can see, this automatically connects those nodes to the composite. Another way of doing that is to press Ctrl H with the nodes selected. And then of course, using the view menu up here to insert a composite. So those are some easy and fast ways to add composites to help you organize your node view. Now we're gonna look at moving nodes. Moving nodes is really, really simple. You can either just grab the node and move it with your mouse. You can also use your arrow keys to shift the node that you have selected. Pressing the shift key and the arrow keys will move the node further. To move more than one node at a time, you can either draw a selection around it and then just move or shift it with your keyboard. Or you can use control click to select specific nodes and then move them. You'll also notice that when you move a node, it will automatically snap to nodes around it. So if we take a look inside the rig over here, you'll see some of these nodes aren't very straight. All you would have to do is select a node and move it until you feel it snapping to the node next to it, which makes it really easy to keep things neat and in line. Another thing to take a look at are waypoints, which are points that you can find in the center of connections. So when you select an actual connection between two nodes, you'll see a little point comes up. You can actually grab and manipulate this waypoint. This again is to help you organize your node view. So for instance, if you have a lot of connections crossing each other, you can actually use that waypoint to direct the connection in a way that works for you. Another thing you can do with waypoints is select the waypoint and hold down shift in order to pull an extra connection out of that waypoint and plug it into other nodes. Now we're gonna look at navigating the node view using your keyboard. This is not the same as selecting a node and then pressing B to go up to the next peg. This is rather navigating through each port in your node view. For instance, if we click on this cutter and we click on one of the ports, if I press up, it automatically goes to the top image port instead of the bottom image port. And the node view will automatically adjust its position depending on the port you have selected. We can now from here either go up to the port above us or we can go left to the map port of the cutter. So it's really intuitive with regards to using your arrow keys. We're now gonna go up to the layer selector. Again, we can go up to the port above that and then up again to the sleeve edge. Now, if you wanna go back down to one of the nodes underneath, all you have to do is press down and you'll see two little dots hop up. That is now giving you the option to choose which node you want to go to. So if I wanna to go to the underlay layer, I'm going to press the right button and then press down again. And now we've worked our way down to the top port of the underlay layer. So it's really easy to use and navigate around your node view with this system. Now we wanna go into this deformation group. So I'm going to press up. Up again, up again. Now we're on the bottom port of the deformation group. We could either press down from here and select one of the dots to go down to one of the nodes underneath, or we can press up again and all of a sudden you'll see a little arrow pop up. That means that you can now enter the group. So when you see that arrow and you want to enter a group, just press enter. And you are now the multi-port out port of that group. And all you have to do is again, work your way up or down, using the arrow keys. How do I get out of the group? Well, all you have to do is go up to the multiport in, press up until you see the arrow out, and press enter to go back out of that group. 
If you wanted to continue up through your node view without going inside the group, you would just have to press up again after you see the enter sign to carry on moving up through your node view. And that's how you organize and navigate the node view in Toon Boom Harmony Premium.